Angkor Wat is a unique combination of the temple mountain, the standard design for the empire, estate temples, and the later plan of concentric galleries, most of which were originally derived from religious beliefs of Hinduism. The construction of Angkor Wat suggests that there was a celestial significance with certain features of the temple. This is observed in the temple, s east-west orientation, and lines of sight from terraces within the temple that show specific towers to be at the precise location of the solstice at sunrise. The temple is a representation of Mount Meru, the home of the gods according to Hindu mythology. The central quincunx of towers symbolize the five peaks of the mountain and the walls and moat symbolize the surrounding mountain ranges and ocean. Access to the upper areas of the temple was progressively more exclusive, with the laity being admitted only to the lowest level. The Angkor Wat Temple's main tower aligns with the morning sun of the spring equinox. Unlike most Khmer temples, Angkor Wat is oriented to the west rather than the east this has led many including Morris Glaze and George Coides, to conclude that Suryavarman intended it to serve as his funerary temple. Further evidence for this view is provided by the bas reliefs, which proceed in a counterclockwise direction. Prashavya in Hindu terminology, as this is the reverse of the normal order. Rituals take place in reverse order during Brahmanic funeral services. Archaeologist Charles Hyam also describes a container that may have been a funerary jar that was recovered from the central tower. It has been nominated by some as the greatest expenditure of energy on the disposal of a corpse. Freeman and Jack. However, note that several other temples of Angkor depart from the typical eastern orientation and suggest that Angkor Wat S alignment was due to its dedication to Vishnu, who was associated with the West drawing on the temple, S alignment and dimensions, and on the content and arrangement of the bas reliefs. Researcher Eleanor Manica argues that the structure represents a claimed new era of peace under King Suryavarman II. As the measurements of solar and lunar time cycles were built into the sacred space of Angkor Wat, this divine mandate to rule was anchored to consecrated chambers and corridors meant to perpetuate the king's power and to honor and placate the deities manifest in the heavens above. Manaka's suggestions have been received with a mixture of interest and skepticism in academic circles. She distances herself from the speculations of others, such as Graham Hancock, that Angkor Wat is part of a representation of the constellation Draco. The oldest surviving plan of Angkor Wat dates to 1715 and is credited to Fujiwara Tadayoshi. The plan is stored in the Suifu Mitoku Kai Shikokan Museum in Mito, Japan.